I, I couldn't wait to get to the front line all the way through training because all I'd heard was it was it was the best time of your life and it absolutely was um, it ticked every single box I was uh, I was looking for uh, training was hard people said the front line was hard but by that time I by the time I got to the front line, I think I had something like 350 hours under my belt. Wow. And so the learning curve was steep, but it, it, uh, I should have been able to uh, deal with it, and I, and I, and I could. Uh, but it was everything. The aeroplane was brilliant. Uh, the, uh, my squadron mates were, you know, just off the charts, good, They're friends for life. Then they say your first tour should be the best time of your life, and it absolutely was. Is that true yeah. for most pilots, would you say, or air crew? I think um, I think we all look back with a bit of um, nostalgia and romance about uh, about first tours. I, I know some people who have hated their their first tour. All I could say is that of all of us, that I, my first tour was on 92 Squadron out in RF Germany. I got brilliant uh, history, and I always used to look into the history of my squadrons to see what I had to live up to. You know, <laughs> all these people that had gone before and, and made name for them, names for themselves. So I. Um, uh, always did that, and I don't know anybody who had 92 Squadron as their first tour and hated it. You know, it was just, it's just a special number and, and, and got some special history, you know. Yeah, I've heard that many occasions. Yeah, yeah, I bet, yeah. Yeah, but everybody else that tells you about other yeah. squadrons, they're all, they're all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So did you ever conduct uh, DACT in the Phantom, and how did it fare? Yeah, so we, um, DACT was, uh, was a big deal on fighter squadrons. Every fighter squadron you go to will, will do quite a lot of um, dissimilar air combat. Um, now, the thing about the Phantom was, when I got onto it, it was one of the oldest fighters on the block. There were still some F-104s around that the Germans were still flying, and that was a rocket ship, you know. Oh, yeah. um, but, uh, but the Phantom was probably the second oldest fighter out there. So we shouldn't have had any success whatsoever, 15s, F-16s, F-18s, all of those uh, kind of things that were out there. But actually, from a, um, uh, from a uh, DACT point of view, I think prob we probably uh, won 80% of the fights that, that we were in. And that's not an idle boast. But it's nothing to do with the, um, uh, the manoeuvring of the aeroplane. There were some pilots on my Phantom squadrons that could turn the Phantom inside out. I was not one of those, one of those guys. I knew what I was good at. I knew what I wasn't particularly good at and I knew what my aeroplane was good at and, and wasn't particularly good at. Um, but we, when it came to tactics and just low down aggression, and it was, almost, it was almost like we were off the hook. You know, everybody expected to beat the Phantom and they got a massive shock when they, um, when they didn't because of our mindset, mostly. If people flew their fancy jets as well as they could, we didn't stand a chance. Uh, but that didn't stop us thinking we could win every fight that, that we went into. And um, like I said, I think we had a lot more success than we really should have done.